Hello Slayers, hello Scott Witherhall. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to another big bad request by Scott. This is October Sky. What I'm loving about this Patreon big bad tier is that I'm watching all these movies that I would have never maybe watched or like them being put in the forefront to watch and I've been having so much fun with this. It's really cool to see you guys' favorite movies. And again, just movies I probably wouldn't have seen or seen anytime soon, or definitely probably not have made a reaction to, I guess. That being said, this actually was on my IMDb watch later. I asked my dad if he's watched this before. He said yes and that it was really good, so I'm excited because he's a bit of a movie snob low-key as well. On Patreon, I only have two slots for this tier. I might open it up in October. Let me know if you guys would like that. I don't want to get like too overwhelmed, but I really think that this is so fun and cool, really. So I know nothing about this. It might actually have to do with coal mining, or I could be dead wrong. I'm pretty sure Scott saw me from my Pride movie reaction, so I think they're like maybe tied together, I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't like watching like the trailers or anything before. I like to go in totally blind. If you guys have any fun facts though about this movie, uh, it's a true story. So let me know. I love to know all the deets. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. Uh, shall we? We freaking shall. Also, I didn't even talk about like, is this going to be like October vibes? You have just tuned in to this special bulletin. On the 4th of October, 1957, successfully launched first man-made satellite into space orbit around the Earth. Oh. Uh, I love that it's October, my favorite month. And I'll probably be posting this in October. Maybe we'll do an October 4th. <gasps> also, didn't mention, love Jake Gyllenhaal. He's very hot. <laughs> Great actor. Maintaining its speed of 18,000 miles an hour, leading in orbit of the Earth every 96 minutes. Based on a true story, we love that here. There is your way to miss Oh, he's in Buffy season one, you one episode. On it, really? West Virginia. Oh my god, West Virginia in October is beautiful that I've seen in pictures. See what you got. Take it easy on my kid, brother. Make him look good, all right? Hot two. Hot two. Why should the time jocks be the only ones to get the scholarships? They're also the only ones that keep the girls. Did Dad say anything about me, Leo? No. Have they pulled any more pillars? Uh, he didn't say. Does he talk at all? Oh, yeah, he talk. Damn it, Jake! Not talking to the wall! I'm sorry, John. This son! Look out! Oh, no. Come on, Jensen. John here. Save your life. That's my dad. I want uh. you out of this mind, don't come back, you stupid son of a bitch. And we all could have been killed because you didn't have the sense to look up. It's my dad. <coughs> Spider. So big deal. Big deal? Well, you failed to grasp that the sound you're hearing is being transmitted by an object that is traveling at 18,000 miles per hour, 59 miles high every night. Sure. Oh, it's not in my class. Who can tell me why Sputnik is so important? Yeah, we ought to just shoot the damn thing down. Oh, I want to know. But Nick. Then you take your arm hmm. and you put it up around the back of a chair like so. Gets real You got to do the yawn. You ain't paying attention to nothing but the movie. So slide on down the shoulder. No. Nice and slow and easy until. Hey, hey! <laughs> I see it. Right there. Where, where? Oh. The Sputnik. Cool. October sky. I'm getting chills. Oh. Like Sputnik. Well, I'm not saying it's gonna go up in space or anything, but I'm gonna do it. Just don't blow yourself up. <laughs> Literally. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Damn, Step back. Yeah. <gasps> the heart's pounding. I thought the mind blew up. <laughs> it's all right, Miss Video. <laughs> Dear Dr. Von Braun, I'm 
was 17 Three, and I live in a small mining two, town. I'm writing to offer my condolences to you and your team on your recent attempt to launch the Vanguard rocket. Oh no. I also had a disastrous occurrence during the launch of my own small rocket. Uh, I have trails again. There isn't a whole lot of material to be found on the subject of rocketry, so I've been kind of stumbling around in the dark. He's a weirdo, but you can kiss your social life goodbye. Oh, because he's smart and would know how to do the shit. Hi, Homer. Hi. There was two girls looking at him, right? Maybe it was just one. I don't let anybody copy my homework. I don't want to <laughs> copy your homework. Do you know what I'm thinking about rockets? Of course I do. What do you want to know about rockets? That's so sad. Rocketry was actually invented by the Chinese as early as 1000 AD. Oh, wow. Potassium chlorate and sulfur. What'd you use? Uh, something like You don't want to know. <laughs> this is exactly, we have everything we need in here. Driving my house. We can use my basement. Yeah, at least nobody will see us down there. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna cry. Quentin has friends. Is that his name, Quentin? This thing's starting to look like a rocket. Do we really need this nozzle thing? The nozzle's the most important part. It directs the flow of the hot gases. Cool it, Quentin. Man, talking about your hot gases. <laughs> I don't think your father would like you sneaking up in the middle of the night in here. Homer, I can't. I would lose my job. Homer, it will be our secret. Mr. Bykowski did a dang good job on this. Oh, Give me that. There. What is this, a weapon of some kind? I asked Homer to bring that to school. Show them class. You know, the boys are thinking about entering that county science fair. The judges are from Welch, so only the kids from Welch ever win. You know, the winners go on to the National Science Fair in Indianapolis, and colleges from all over the country hand out scholarships. Wow. That's right. College scholarships for winning a science fair? Homer, you got a great mind, but science requires math. Which has never been one of your favorite subjects. Oh, damn it. You can't just dream your way out of Coldwood, Homer. Watch him. Coldwood mine is given out, Mr. Hickam. I learned from there Nine, last time. Eight, Seven. Six, two. Get it. Get it for the mine. <gasps> I told you we didn't know what we were doing. You guys could have killed someone. What you been up to in the basement, huh? So how do we get it to go straight up? He wants to be a rocket scientist. Is that it, John? He has no idea what he wants to be. Yes, he... But I know what he is. He's a menace, and he's a damn thief. Eric Bykovsky did this, didn't he? Don't you ever let me catch you with these fool things on company property again. Yes, sir. Everyone's doubting him. They call me a thief, Ma. In front of everybody. He was dead wrong calling you that. I know he's hard to understand sometimes, Homer, but you have to know he loves you. You don't know what the mind gives me. By golly, you're gonna find out soon enough. I'm never going down there. Period. You better have a talk with your son, Elsie, because he's out of control. He seems like such a good kid, other than not wanting to do that as a career. Where's my rockets still? Right where they belong. Ah. No. Didn't your dad say no more rockets? No, he said no more rockets on company property. Do you realize he how did. far we'd have to go to get off company property? Yeah, we'd have to go to Snake Root. It's not that far. I know I'm going to be a miner. I've known my entire life. That's why your stepdaddy's the biggest drunk in West Virginia. My Let dad, on, uncle, guys. grandpa worked in the tunnels They in New York City. Is that coal mining? I gotta ask him. What the heck did they do down there? Once my dad like fell off a ladder and literally knocked his teeth out and now he has like some fake teeth. It wasn't my dad's main job. Now you all wanna be coal miners. Y'all go ahead and be coal miners. I love a black sheep. What are the chances a bunch of kids from Colwood actually winning the National Science Fair? Only one way to find out. Give me that. Um, they're gonna win. I can't. I have chills everywhere. 
<laughs> I don't know if they are gonna win, but... Ooh. I just realized his walk. We hiked eight miles for this? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's perfect. And we can even build a test stand! This is giving me Stand By Me vibes, but different. Dr. Von Braun, our launch site, which we've named Cape Colwood, is nearing completion. <laughs> me. Inspired by our efforts, everyone is anxious to help by donating material. Wow. Fortunate to have the support of our classmates, and the whole community here in Colwood is behind us. Hey, Rocket Boy. Mars is that way. Good one. Uh, you said no more rockets on company property. So you walk eight miles? Yes, sir. When the novelty wears off, they're all going to be sent packing. Maybe then they'll have to find themselves a real job. Like mining coal? You listen here. And you listen coal good. Coal we mine makes steel, Homer. And if steel fails, this country fails. Here, I had an engineer estimate a new walkway. They had some cement left over, so uh, it got caught in the rain. It's probably ruined. But if you want to haul it out, it's all yours. Thanks. Thanks. Uh. And Miss Riley wanted to make sure you document your result. You'll be graded when she returns. In other words, lots of good expanding gases. It should make an excellent. Works for me. Candy. <laughs> Better get started. I quit. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Have, have you seen Mr. Koski around? He's not in the shop anymore. Your dad sent him down to the mine. Taking it out on you because you helped me. Father is a fair man. Tricked, it's because he has to be. Besides, he did me a big favor transferring me from the machine shop. I can make twice as much money down there working in the high coal. Maybe I can use the extra money. I'm just sorry I won't be able to weld any more rockets for you. Maybe, maybe you could teach me how to. You don't give up, do you? I can't. That's the spirit. We don't give up here, Slayers. How did you bone it? We're shooting off another rocket up here today. I thought that might be something we'd like to see. That's so cute. Hey, look out! <gasps> oh my god. Are you okay? I'm alright. Scared the oh shit out of I me. I with the red tails in World War II. Okay. Seeing that rocket come at me, it almost took me back down. <laughs> okay. Where's your kid? Hey, let me have a look at that thing. The heat from the exhaust melted the washer. But you're going to have to have a better steel that can take the heat. Yeah, that's why it's say, churning. And I can order it for you. Well, that'd be great. But it's kind of expensive. 12 miles of scrap iron. And all we got to do is pop it loose. What are we going to tell the railroad when they catch us prying up the track? It's oh, my God. Oh, okay. $8.20. This is worth eight twenty. Four hundred pounds. Holy crap! Wait, is that for this track? The deal? It's abandoned. Uh, Look at the rust. Coretta number two shut down in fifty one. Shit! Oh my God! Get it! Just stop the train! We gotta Go lift it up. Oh. Okay, so I think that way was abandoned and it was just gonna go the other way the whole time. Oh, man. A controlled explosion. The nozzle directs a, a, a river of hot gas. Tapered bore. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, well. Oh gosh. He's afraid it'll be too heavy. Why don't we just make it longer? Longer would allow increased volume for the propellant without much additional mass. Great idea. When you see Pop. <laughs> goodbye. My chill feel like rain. Oh, I feel like we're not getting any progress. What are we doing wrong, boys? Oh. Okay. Patient, Billy. <gasps> My guess is, is we 
getting air pockets in the body of propellant. I think we're gonna need a liquid binder of some sort. What about gasoline? Gasoline? Alcohol. I mean, alcohol's stable, and it'll evaporate quickly. Yeah, but it'd have to be 100% undiluted. None of that watered-down stuff they sell at the company store. I, I have no idea where we could find that. Boom, boom, boom. The alcohol guy, right? Alcoholic. I'm not gonna say a word. Is that like moonshine or something? Oh my gosh. How'd they find out about it? Your brother. If we poop out this time, the whole county's gonna be laughing at us. Who cares what any of them You don't have to prove anything to anybody. Now go launch yourself a rocket. This is the first time we're trying it with the alcohol, right? Hi, right, Dorothy. Dorothy. Is that thing really gonna fly? Oh, it won't. That thing it better fly. When you can kiss your chances of losing your virginity, goodbye. She wouldn't care. I mean, everyone should be hiding behind something. I feel like it's gonna go good this time, but like. Hey, Homer, come on. We don't got all day. Shut up, Jim. You don't have to be here. Did he tell her to hide behind something? This is gonna go one of two ways. I feel like it's gonna work though. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone, egg hunt, find that was it. Unbelievable. Let's go, Dorothy. I tell you, it's unbelievable. Captain of the football team being jealous of you. What do you think about getting in that science fair now? I think we got a chance. Absolutely. The dad should have been there, and the mom. Birthday, Homer. Uh, how old? John. Uh, oh, happy birthday, Homer. This in the mail. It must be a present from Grandma. Oh, it's an autographed picture. Grandma? I think it sucks. Warner Von Braun. <laughs> well, wonder how he knew it was your birthday. Congratulations on your rocket building. Warner well, you better John. take an interest in your own damn town. <sighs> There's enough people that will do that. Your father's He's got a lot on his mind. Yeah, well, I don't give a damn. I know the math is too advanced for you. It is for me, too. There's calculus, differential equations. No, I learned the math. This is great, Miss Riley. Yeah, enough with the math. Best present anyone's ever given me. But, uh. <laughs> Our job is to give these kids an education, not false hope. Let them breathe in coal dust the rest of their life? Miss no. Riley. Once in a while, didn't even think a of lucky that. one will get out on a football team. Oh, that's what the they meant by the dad's along. Work in Happy birthday, son. Got some good news for you, Homer. Say hello what? to Fred Smith from the University of West Virginia. Mr. Smith wants Jim to play football there. He's offering him a full scholarship. Congratulations, Jim. You play ball, son? Homer shoots off rockets. You know, rockets aren't exactly my field, son. Dear Dr. Von Braun, thank you for the autographed picture. It will only further inspire me to keep working toward our all-important goal of entering that science fair this spring. We're shooting off a rocket today. Can you come? Oh, you like to come see it. I gotta catch up on some work. How come you never have work when Jim plays football? You never miss a game. <clears throat> what time are you gonna do it? About four o'clock. Oh my god, is it gonna fail this time? Can't promise you. Pull the pillar too close. Uh. Yeah. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, right now. Nobody hurt. I mean, it is a really serious job, but. Five, four, three, I don't. I can't believe no one is. Oh, yay, the mom came. This is so fun. Yes, it is. Yeah, I can't remember. What do you is Homer Hickam? I'm Basil Thorpe with the Bluefield Telegraph. Can I ask you a They're getting press. Sure. A messenger of these rocket boys of Big Creek. These boys use their brains, not Oh wrong. my god, I have like chills. Oh, Hi, Homer. Hi, Dorothy. Would you please sign my newspaper? Sure. I just know you're going to be really famous someday. H. O M E R 
Homer. Which one of you fellas is Homer Hickam? What in the world? Miss Riley, this does not concern you. You have these boys in handcuffs in a high school, Excuse Mr. Turner. Way. You probably Excuse heard about the forest fire last week over by Wells. What? Found a rocket on the side of the road. We knew it started the fire, ma'am. What we didn't know was where it came from mm. until this morning. Can you account for all your rocket? Oh, sir, I can't. I've been mad as hell at you. <sighs> Boys, the first time in your life I've been ashamed of you. No, is he getting hit? Get in the car, Homer. This ain't your business. Get in the car with Homer, son. Drunken son of a bitch. If that boy's father was alive, he'd kick your ass. So I'm gonna have to do it for him. If I see him with a bruise, you get a scar. You hear me? Oh. Nice to see the dad do this. Your father was one of the best men I ever had working for me. I was lucky to know him. I mean, we could just leave it up. Hey, Homer. Jim. That's Jim. Any past your bedtime? And your Dorothy, the fuck? I was gonna say, I mean, I'm against this and appalled, but it has been a super slow burn with them. Like, you didn't try to do anything about it. But fuck you, Jim. I said there's two girls looking at him, and then they kind of almost look similar, so it was hard to differentiate. Valentine, ooh, love it. Sure was exciting watching your rockets go up. Is to linger with me. What's going on? Father always has to be the big hero. I swear to God, if he gets killed, I won't shed a tear. What? the dad it was that nice guy right doctor says there's a chance your dad could lose his eye i'm gonna go down to the mine and ask jake mosby to sign me off you got school if you drop out you lose your scholarship i'm the oldest it's my responsibility i work in the mine damn They're purposely not showing the other eye, I think. This whole year has been pretty rough going down at the mouth. Damn Bad it. Temper. Amen. Amen. Oh my god. I appreciate the sacrifice you made here, Homer. He has an eye. Pretty soon you'll be able Both to go of back them. and finish up the school year. I'm not going back to school. I'll just stay put. Well, I think you ought to finish high school. Homer's not a boy anymore. Oh god. Like what? I don't think I can tell him anything. Oh, okay. I mean, like you just—you went through this. You want your son to do something so dangerous, like so annoying. Boy, it's sure hard to keep a secret in this town, isn't it? I guess I did a pretty good job. Miss Riley. You know, there's a rumor going around. That I've been sneaking off to Welch to see some bow. <laughs> I wish that rumor had been true. They told me Hoskins can go into remission, so I might have some time. Oh no. Is there anything I can do, Miss Riley? You can accept my apology. For what? My life's work is teaching. And I believe that if you boys won that science fair, got scholarships, somehow my life would have counted for some. Home. Is it too late? It happened already? Sometimes you really can't listen to what anybody else says. You're not supposed to end up in those mines. I'm proud of you. Whatever you choose. Wait, is she sick? 
you, you figured this equation out by yourself? Where? It proves that you can't. It, it proves we didn't start that fire. <sighs> oh, my God. Was the only one that we couldn't find that day. That's the best news ever. And I have chills everywhere. To Trade Park, Quentin. We should be able to make a good guess where that rocket landed. Interesting. 1.2 miles. I'll see you at dawn. We ride at dawn. I don't work there anymore. Back on track, baby. Yeah, like you guys didn't need to burn that shit. I knew it. I guess we could always just make another. I mean, this is a true story. Like, this happened? That's crazy. At 6,300 feet. It's gotta be a ride. What did we do wrong? Uh, I'll check the map again. Hey, was there a wind that day? Hmm. Uh, as if there was, the wind probably came from the west, which means that it would have pushed the rocket right there. <laughs> they didn't start that fire. This rocket proves nothing. You've already admitted having lost a number of your rockets. You cannot prove conclusively that another one of them didn't start that fire. Yes, I can. 1.2 miles, exactly where we found that rocket. That rocket fell for about 14 seconds, which means that it flew to an altitude of 3,000 feet. T squared, where S is the altitude, A is... You mind telling me if you did not start that fire, who did? Hmm. What is it? That isn't a rocket at all. An aeronautical flare. There's an airport here in Welch, right above where the fire stopped. Duh, people. Is the reason you skipped work today? Yes, sir. Well, you put all this nonsense behind you, Homer. I can't even begin to tell you how proud of you I've been these past weeks. You keep going, you're gonna have my job someday. He doesn't want it. You got any idea how proud that would make me? If this rocket stuff is so important to you, then so be it. As long as you're careful. Guess there's worse hobbies you could have. But skipping work, that's out of line. Let's go and get you right with Jake. No. Coal mine's your life. I'm never going down there. I want to go into space. Good for you, Homer. A Big Creek High for their ingenious display of amateur rocket building techniques. <laughs> the autograph, how cute. You boys are going to have to decide who's going to Indianapolis. Well, all that's gone. obvious. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Right. I wish you could, but we can't afford to send all four of you. We'll have to know by Friday. You did a fine job today. I'm thinking it's time for a car wash or something. Raise the money. Come on, you dope. You know you're going, Homer. Yeah. Say hello to the outside world for us. I want them all to go. Oh, all right. God. All in favor of going out on strike, say aye! Aye! Let's go! The town is dying, the mine is dying, everybody knows it here but you. You go! Yeah, I'll go! Go! And I'll be gone forever! Oh, that was so intense. How the rocket flew. Like you see, this is a day of all now. Do any of y'all know what a day of all now <laughs> I don't think so. My money's on the kid with the rocket display. Have you seen it yet? It's really cool. Sweet. The judging is tomorrow. They even took my picture of Dr. Von Braun. <gasps> they stole everything. What the fuck? Where's security? I know, Elsie, but Homer is in trouble. I don't have the power to settle this strike. Is that your pride? Oh, it's about what's best for Coldwood. Homer once said you love the mine more than your own family. I took up for you because I didn't want to believe he's gotten a lot of help from the people in this town. They watched him fly him, but not you, John. But he's your son, for God's sake, John. And I am asking you to help him. If you don't, I'll leave you. I'll find work. I'll do whatever it takes to get away from here. Where would you go? Myrtle Beach. Hmm. Good for you, I'll see. We know you did what you could for us. Don't you have some work to do? Bus station, 8 a.m. Okay, Mom, but how'd you... Your father, Homer. It was your father. Give him hell, Homer! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that's so sweet. Good luck, sweetie. Bye. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Dad. I have chills everywhere. 
if the river continues through the nozzle or through the throat at less than sonic speed, that is to say less than the speed of sound. I can't believe they took the freaking autograph. That's so sad. The National Science Fair's first prize gold medal goes to Homer Hickam, Quentin Wilson, Roy Lee Cook, Sherman Odell, Big Creek High School, McDowell County, West Virginia! <laughs> So beyond deserved. John Webster, Virginia State College. I want to talk to you about a scholarship. Virginia Tech, we got the best science program in the state, buddy, okay? Congratulations, son. Good luck to you. What did he say to you? What did who say? Von Vaughn. That was one of Von Vaughn. He just shook his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Miss Riley? No. Jesus. You did it. I knew you would. The Rocky boys are going to college. They all got scholarships. <laughs> From now on, every school year, I'm on brag to all my new students about how I taught Homer Heck on the Rocky. One day, one of them will feel like they can do what y'all did. You know, just stuff like that takes time. Can you let me out? <sighs> Tell him. Hey, Homer, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate what you did for me. Hey, you know, we're shooting off our last rocket day at 5 o'clock, so if you'd like to come see it. I got a lot of work like... to do. All right. Well, I just thought I'd ask. Here you met your big hero. Didn't even know it. I know you and me don't exactly see eye to eye on certain things. But, Dad, I come to believe that I got it in me to be somebody in this world. And, and it's not because I'm so different from you either. It's because I'm the same. I mean, I can be just as hard-headed and just as tough. I only hope I can be as good a man as you are. I mean, sure, Dr. Von Braun's a great scientist, but he isn't my hero. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Hey, right. Congratulations on winning the science fair. Thanks, Dorothy. Peace. I was thinking, Homer, if, if you've got some time. Excuse me, Dorothy. <clears throat> hey, everybody, can we have your attention, please? We'd like to say thank you first. If it wasn't for y'all, we'd never gotten into any science fair. Because of your help and support. And this is for Colwood. There are a few people who believed in us even before we did. we like to dedicate this rocket to them, to Ike Bukowski. <laughs> to Mr. Bolin, who helped us so much. <laughs> to the person who first inspired us, Miss Riley. Finally, I'd like to dedicate this rocket to my mom and to... Unless somebody pushes the button. It's yours if you want it. Three, two, one. This one's gonna go for miles. So cool. So crazy, right? Wow, real footage.
so cool. Myrno Beach? Yes! Thirty one. I'm turning thirty one in December. Oh, man. Wait, what year did they move? <laughs> oh, she moved after he died. Wow. Oh my god. They have footage of it. Oh, it's a book. Scott. Great freaking choice. Thank you for sharing this with me. I can take these off now. I, for some reason, didn't expect to cry. That was really good. That is such a great story on, like, never, never give up and follow your dreams and why. I need a sec. It's such a great story on never giving up and following your dreams and it's okay. It's okay to be the black sheep. The black sheep, I always think it's the coolest thing. You stand out and you're just on your own path where so many people just do what's convenient or comfortable or safe. And we only live once, so it's just, I think it's such an important message. And even if we don't win the way that he did like this, there's so many people that fail, unfortunately, but keep trying anyways or like still like f make it in their path just like i mean this is an extreme story but anything is possible it really is and i challenge everyone to follow their dreams Alrighty, guys that's it for this reaction scott thank you so much again i'm excited to see what you got in store for me next i'm ready for it <laughs> If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, feel free to request movies in the comments, and yeah, that's it. It's Billy Bitch.